Uh, it was good. Um, you know, uh, his first game back, so um, he still got to get in the rhythm of playing the game, get his legs under him. But uh, it was fun to have him back out there. The the minutes without Embiid and Harden on the floor kind of hurt you guys to start the second, to start the fourth. Um, I'm just curious, kind of what it was about their lineups without the two of them that kind of hurt you guys. Um, I know in the fourth. Uh, uh, Maxi got away from us. Uh, he hit about three threes in a row. Um, got to the paint, got fouled. So um, he did a good job of starting out fourth quarter for them. As you've gotten your offensive rhythm and gotten up to speed on that, and I'm kind of curious for you personally, where do you feel you're at on the defensive end? I feel good. Um, I think I'm uh, sliding pretty well, uh, helping my teammates out. Uh, but I'm not complacent. I um, want to get better. want to help us be better. Hey, Kawhi. Um, you know, with 10 of the next 11 games coming up on the road, um, and team right now at, at 500, just, you know, what what do you think, you know, has to has to change with, with this upcoming road trip, and how can this road trip just kind of help kind of build, bring the team together a little bit, you know, build up some consistency? Uh, just, I guess, being around each other a little bit more. Uh, you know, on the road, uh, you're going to see each other a lot more. You're not going home. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we just better dial in uh, um, into the game plan. And, uh, you know, we're going to be on the road, like you said, take care of the ball, uh, value possessions, and uh, make sure we limit our mistakes on the defensive end. And hopefully we can knock down some shots. Uh, Kawhi, uh, coming up on Mid-season. Well, we're a little bit past midseason, obviously, but uh, just when you take a look at this roster, we said in training camp this team had a lot of different wings, a lot of different ways to play. Um, has your opinion on the, how, the, how the roster is and how the team's playing changed in any way between then and now? Um, no, I mean, I think we still have the same players. Uh, we've been in and out of rotations a little bit, but uh, uh, we still got some... Uh, a lot of wings, like I said before, and we got guys that can score the ball. Hey, Kawhi, as you approach the second half of the season, do you guys feel in the urgency to, you know, this roster has a lot of talent. Do you feel urgency to make a big push as you get to the second half of the season and make that playoff push try to rise in the Western Conference? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, starts every game uh, we, we got to come in and uh, you know win these games and be focused enough to execute and uh, you know stay strong with each other and like I said uh, the things you do to win a basketball game is uh, you know we got to get the defensive rebounds we, we got to make shots we can't uh, get other team the ball we got to get back in transition and uh, those things are hurting us right now how close um is this team to where you think it can be? Uh, we got a lot to improve still, like I said, on the things I just named. Um, you know, once we do that consistently, and we'll see where we are. Thank you. Last one, Justin. Kind of curious, over the last four years, you've seen Terrence up close and personal and how he's grown as a player. What have you seen out of his maturation as a player from where you saw him on day one to where he is now? Uh, he's knocking the three ball down more consistently. Uh, he's gotten very confident in that. Uh, he's attacking gaps in transition now. So uh, just seeing his steady aggressiveness on that. And uh, he's also taking the, um, the defensive matchups every night. Um, he wants to play defense. And um, yeah, so just keep getting better every game. Thank you. Thank you.